Today I'll show you how to do a zinc iodine electrolysis. For this you need some iodine, one gram, one gram of zinc powder, the finer it is the better it will work, then a U-shaped tube, let's call it U-tube, <laughs> then some um, general lab equipment such as a mortar and um, an Erlmeyer flask, a thermometer and some distilled water. Furthermore you need two graphite electrodes. It doesn't matter when they have different sizes and a 10 volt power supply. To start grind your iodine in a mortar. Now you should have nice iodine crystals. Put the iodine together with the water in a 100 ml Erlmeyer flask. The iodine will not dissolve in water because, as you know, water is a very polar molecule and iodine molecules are unpolar, so it doesn't dissolve. Now add the zinc pulver and put a thermometer in the Erlmeyer flask. Now this mixture heats up. And what you get is zinc iodide. After some time of stirring this, the brown orange color will disappear and this only looks like water with the powder on the floor and later we will only pour the, the fluid in our YouTube and keep the powder in the Erlmeyer flask. So what we got here is a zinc iodide solution which we will use for our electrolysis. If you want you can filter the solution but um, I think it's unnecessary. We can keep the zinc powder in this Erlmeyer flask by just pouring, pouring the solution gently in our Erlmeyer flask, uh, in our U-shaped tube. If you just wait a bit so that the zinc powder gets down on the ground. Yeah, and this is our zinc iodine solution in the YouTube. Now put your electrodes in our zinc iodine solution. Now you have to wait a few minutes and then you will see the reaction. Now on the positive pole you can see that a bit of iodine is produced and on the negative pole there is zinc getting on the electrode. There you can see the iodine. And here the zinc, the elemental zinc. Yeah, and that's the electrolysis of a zinc iodide solution. If you turn your power supply off, something interesting will happen. So now there is still 1.2 volt shown. And this voltage is because now it's something like the reverse reaction and the U-tube is something like a battery. So the pure zinc and the pure iodine get back to zinc iodine.